Hey guys, Mike Morales here at Fin Factor Kayak and Tackle. Today I want to do another product highlight. Guys, I know it's been a while, but you know we've been extremely busy, and of course with all the craziness with COVID and all that other stuff, hey, we're just ready to get back into business and get into the swing of things like we normally do. Okay, so first and foremost, I want to talk about some really cool items. And these involve keeping your gear dry. Okay, first and foremost, we talk about the, the Mustad lure bag that is completely waterproof, right? So it's got the waterproof zippers. When you open up this bag right here, you know, you have your spots right here where you can put maybe lures or, you know, whatever the case. You've got tons of, of, of actual Ziplocs to keep your, your lure bags individualized by color or by style or whatever you think you can, you can put in there. You also have these nice little clear packages so you can put your assortment of jig heads, maybe a top water or two. Um, these loops, pretty much for whatever you want it to be. I'm not really sure what those are for, but you guys use your best judgment. Also on the flip side, guys, you have another additional, you know, I can't even tell you how many lure bags you can actually put in here, but I think it's really, really spacious. But I, what I think what's most important about this thing is that it is completely dry, okay? All you guys know, you don't keep your stuff dry, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna wind up with a big old mess of rust and all these different things. And so I thought these were great to put in the shop. From a kayaking standpoint, guys, this is even really cool in the fact that you also have these nice Velcro stickers so if you want, or, or straps, so if you want to put it on your seat bag, maybe your Vantage seat or your Outback seat, really, really cool. This guy isn't going anywhere super reinforced. And it's something that's going to stay on your, on your boat. If you want to use this to store your phone, really, really cool uh, bag here. On top of that from Mustad, we also have the Mustad waiting bag. Now again, this doesn't have to just be a waiting bag, guys. This guy is really cool and it obviously looks like a fanny pack. It's got the strap or a fanny pack. Put it around you like that if you're, you know, you know, shower or water. What you could also do is use this guy as a crotch body so that you can keep that stuff real high when you're out there wading some deeper waters, maybe some waist high water or what have you. The cool thing about this bag is that you've got ample storage in here um, to put all kinds of stuff. Um, you've got your zipper bag in here, so you want to place your phone. Again, it's, it's dry storage, so it's not going to get wet. You've got little hook and loops through here. It's where you can put your, um, you know, your stringers, your boat grips maybe. It also has this also additional pouch right here where you can maybe put your ID or maybe your, your fishing license and that kind of thing. So really, really cool. Man, I really like the fact that it is, it is waterproof heck. Put your pistol here. Not that I would encourage you to carry a pistol on the water, but if you needed to do so, why not keep it dry in this particular wading dry bag? Really, really cool, guys. We have them here at the shop for you guys. Something new, something fresh. And then let's talk about some net options. First and foremost, we have the Danco. This is the Danco net made by Danco Knives. Everybody knows what Danco is. Biggest thing here, and what I think the difference is for this particular net, it's got an actual longer handle that you normally see on a, on a wading net. You know, sometimes you see the orange ones or the fluorescent green ones. This handle is actually a little bit longer. You also have an 18 inch strap right here. So if you're gonna strap it to your, your um, kayak or you wanna put it on your waist belt, you know, that's what that's for. Rubberized mesh here, so it prevents hooking with your hooks. Um, and it floats. Really, really cool net, like the coloring. You know, those of you that are into the LSU or whatever, purple and yellow, that's pretty cool. So that is the Danco waiting net, okay? Talk about another item here is actually, um, this is Jessica Crouch. say hi Jessica. Hi guys. This is our operations manager. Um, but what I wanna talk about with her is the actual boots that she has on. She comes to work in these boots, guys. That's how comfortable they are. These are the NRS waiting booties. Super comfortable, super soft. It's got plenty of traction on the bottom. So if you're kayaking or if you're getting out to launch, you've got some really good protect, protection for your soles. Are these um, ray guards? No, but at the end of the day, sometimes you'll get into some wading booties, guys, that are like super hard and you know very difficult to walk in. I'll tell you what, these are really, really nice and comfortable. I know I've got a pair for dudes, and um, I know Jessica really likes these. So those are the NRS wading booties. All right, guys, so the next thing I want to talk about is our safety. That's wearing a proper PFD, guys. And so right now, what I'm showcasing is the NRS Chinook life jacket. Guys, this is probably one of the better type two PFDs that you can use for on the water, super safe. 
Um, very, very comfortable. Um, it's got you know a high back in the back to where you can actually sit in your high seat, just like this Vantage chair here. Also doubles as a nice pillow, so if you want to take a nap, it's pretty cool. But if you look at this particular bag itself for this uh, waiting uh, life vest, you know, you've got some place to put here to, you know, put your lures or some gear, maybe your phone. If you want to really secure something, you've got that guy with a little bit of a hook there, so you want to make sure you don't lose it. They're reinforced pocket um, doors on here, so it doesn't just open up and tumble out all over the place. So really, really cool from a pocket standpoint right here. Um, you also have, obviously, your storage right here, so if you want to put your you know, maybe some sunglasses on here. You know, you got your knife stay right here with this little cross section. Really, really nice, comfortable, keep you extremely safe. This is the NRS Chinook PFD. Hey guys, have you ever been out on the water and you have your net? A lot of people will place their net maybe in a rear a rod holder where it's kind of sticking up. You back to make that cast and just, you get snagged in that net or it's just kind of in the way. There's a net that just came out, it's from Fabril or Frable or whatever, however you want to call it, which is basically really, really nice and convenient and it, it will actually fit right underneath your seat, just like that guy, so it's kind of out of the way. Uh, the cool thing about this net right here is like I said, you know, A, fits under your seat, but man, when you're ready to go, I mean, dude, it's ready and you've got that plenty of leverage, so if you're not having to lean all the way over to scoop that, that, um, that fish up, You've got plenty of space here to actually capture that fish where you would need to capture it the most, guys. So this is the Frubbill Kayak Wading Net, guys. Rubberized mesh, really, really cool. You've got your little, I guess this is like a storage hook or maybe turnstile to actually get that, whatever you got out of that uh, net. Um, man, I think it's really cool. I have not, has, haven't used this before, but I know that I was in a high stakes, um, I was in a high stakes maybe tournament. This would probably be the net of choice for me to make sure that A, I don't lose that net or that fish. You've got plenty of leverage on that fish. You can use your actual bicep to lift that guy. You're not holding some crazy hand or anything like that. This is really, really cool. And the fact that I could do that, that is so cool, man. And then do this out of the way. I think that's great. So that is the Frabil Trophy Hall. Bear Claw Net.